All right, so we just watched this. Re I don't even know how to describe this video. Ridiculous, amazing, incredible, uh, terrifying. Uh, it's a song called Lick a Toad, and we have Ostrich Von Nipple uh, with us. Ostrich, um, yeah. welcome back. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Uh, it's excellent to be here. Uh, I know it's a pleasure for both of us to be once again together again. And I'm just hoping we enjoy this uh, as we're together. Last time we spoke, it was uh, almost antagonistic. Um, yeah, yes, you were what they call a thorn in my side. Yes, yes, but it's all okay. It's, it's water under the bridge. Is it? Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm just letting you know, I'm going to stand my ground. I'm not going to deal with your crap this time, so... Where's my fucking man? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got it. Big tough guy. This interview is over. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear this shit? I got a new PR department. It's me. I fucking cloned myself. <laughs> How do you feel now? <laughs> you silly son of a bitch. If there's anything that represents the way you do business, it's this interview. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so I'll have to do some business after this because I'm sick in my stomach right now with this line of questioning. Um, what I would like to talk about is this video that we just watched. Uh, this is uh, beautifully animated by the incredible artist Poxide. Uh, and it comes off this disc. Yes. Ostrich von Nipple exploits infinity. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you can't see. <laughs> Precisely. No, let me just style <laughs> um, <laughs> Yes, this beautiful CD actually uh, is available now from Psychophone Records. And this is Ostrich Von Nipple Exploits Infinity, subtitled A Plot to Murder Time in Three Insightful Sonic Evaluations. And this video that we just watched here, if I can get back to that place. <laughs> okay, Alex. Um, the video from Poxod was beautifully illustrating uh, this kind of ugly harshness that, uh, that, that we find once we're in these peaceful positions. Do you understand? And so it, it is definitely my favorite video uh, this far, and uh, thank you for, for the premiere here. Yes, of course. Uh, Poxod is an incredible artist. Um, you've worked with her before, and she's done some other uh, album covers for Reynaldo and the Loaf, and uh, some incredible... Yeah. She has a magazine and stuff for sale on Etsy, so if you want to check out her art, just go look up Poxod and uh, buy stuff and support what she does. Ostrich, you've got this... Um, finger puppet cut out that comes with the CD. Tell me a little about this. Yes, um, well... You know, it is a finger puppet of one of the cosmic babies. And the cosmic babies are created for each, typically each full-length recording I do. And they kind of serve as a cosmic sort of spiritual guide, carrying you from tune to tune. And I felt it was about time someone should be able to put their finger in it. Uh, last time we spoke, you explained how when someone is listening to your record, you are actively doing the thing that is explained on the disc. So when we hear this music, you are exploiting infinity and uh, plotting to murder time. Is that correct? That's correct. And so how might we expect or anticipate the uh, plot to unfold? Well, that sounds a bit accusatory. But I will answer that question, uh, my friend Antonio. There's, this comes from three distinct points of view. The first is in standard, the second is in gargantuan, and the third is in miniature. And what it represents is this triad of perspectives coming together and wanting to actually take hold of a physical form of time, hold it, and strangle the life out of it. But it's all in the name of fun! On that note, let's listen to the second track, Broken Record, which uh, reminds me of um, some people I know, and I think this is a real banger to kick off this album. So You know who else is a real out. banger? Who? You are, buddy.
All right, that was a really nice piece. Uh, can you give us a little background on uh, what inspires you to write songs like this? Well, th this particular song came out of the sarcasm I have for time and the cycles that it, that it traps us in. And that's really what this record is about and why it's separated into three parts, is to try and also divide them in, in, in size of these cycles to try and you know each each bit in linear time creates a larger cycle and it's a smaller cycle and it's a repetitive mantra about uh, essentially being forgotten as a person or time being forgotten as a living being now do you uh, do you fear death ostrich no no why um, um, I, I guess it's just a natural part of life. It's it's a death. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's a sad part of life, man. What the Would fuck you say, kind of uh, shit is this? Do you think death what the fuck is this, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, I'll give me a fucking break. God damn. Next question. Next question! I have to say this is probably the first time we've ever had um, people making out to uh, a song while we're listening to it on an interview. So well, if you had your own clone, you'd make out with it too. I've had it into your internet <laughs> history. Oh, good God. Ooh, but you go to church twice a week. <laughs> Uh, yes, but that's not the point. The point is, we're not here about to talk about sadness and death. That's why we sing about it and rejoice. Let's um, let's check out a, fee a piece that features uh, Nolan Cook on uh, what's in a name. What I love about your music, and I have to say this is my favorite of your records, um, what I love about your music is your exploration of sound. Uh, I know that you spend a lot of time exploring sounds. And, uh, <laughs> could you talk a little about sort of your, uh, your sonic explorations? Sure, I'd be happy to talk about my explorations. Um, when I, when I wake up in the morning, I typically take a shower, if it's Tuesday. And I wake up and I go to the sound lab, because that's my number one priority. And um, I, I have, it's, it's the largest room in my home. 
In fact, I have a large wall of screaming babies I keep behind soundproof glass. I have a large container of working hand tools. Where's my hand tool, man? My clone handles all the hand tools. <laughs> and, uh, yes. Um, so I essentially, uh, keep other animals and other friends, and, uh, uh, you know, around. Actually, I like using a lot of analog. Um, I'll take the signal and actually run it through other types of analog processors um, before I go digital. So I do a lot of experimentation with layering. Um, I'm really big on texture. I'm interested in seeing uh, what can be brought out in a second to second in the moment. And so I do end up experimenting with a lot of different See, I've been collecting uh, pedals and noisemakers um, uh, since the 90s, gosh, maybe the 80s. Um, so it really just comes from there and lots of uh, there. experimentation. It says uh, on the record, let's see. You play everything except the guitar, maybe? Excuse me. Excuse yeah. me one second. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Sorry, <laughs> one second, friend. You shut the fuck up! So we are rolling! Sorry about that. It was in the music video. I think you played everything except, uh. except basically the guitars by Nolan. So you, you're a multi instrumentalist, but I have a feeling that word isn't big enough. Uh, how do you classify your musical and instrumental capabilities. <laughs> well, with words like that, I'd encourage you to keep going. And then I'll decide. Um, I, <laughs> what I, uh, I would, I would say, uh, oh, I'm actually stumped. I would say that, yes, uh, multi-instrumentalist is a word you could use on me. However, there, there are adjectives that are much more suitable. Could you share some of the more suitable adjectives? Oh, I don't think I can do that. My parents could watch this later. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. You've got a track on here called uh, File Knows Vats. Um, is, that, is that a reference to something? Yes, absolutely. I'm surprised I haven't heard anything about this sooner, but wow. it is definitely a pun wow. on wow. File Knows Vats. Is this interview um, over yet? I mean, how many questions like this can a guy actually take? Jeez Louise. Because it's well, to me here we go. I, had sat in I guess you'll have to give them what they want, Ostrich. Uh, uh, but when will they see me? I mean, does anyone care about the real me? Uh, the real Ostrich von Nipple? I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, well, no offense, I, I also did. Let's take a listen to uh, Probably and Proudly, and that, <laughs> that'll lead into File uh, Knows Vats. You know, I'm actually kidding, so let's go back there for a minute. What I, I do want to say, that the, the thing with that track, is that when, when I finished it, it, I, it immediately made me feel like I, I had ripped off uh, the entire uh, File Knows Vats recording in, in about 60 seconds. And uh, it was just too fun to keep, and there are other songs, miniatures on this record, that have puns and uh, other names, etc., that uh, come from other favorite artists of mine. All right, let's check out Probably and Proudly, and then File Those Vats.
Yeah, I can see why why you would feel that way. <laughs> Thank you. But I think you it, I think you did a really wonderful job putting this album together. Um, it's actually a lot of fun to listen to, and the miniatures um, they kind of make the album fly by, and it feels like you know a great way to spend uh, an afternoon, and then you want to listen to it again. There is. There are a couple of pretty long tracks. The partial inertia, I believe, was like 13 minutes. But for the most part, the album just kind of blows right by. And uh, anyway, was that an intention of yours to make something that just... Oh, yes. I always want uh, my music to blow. Um, it's something I strive for uh, diligently. Uh, I, I just struggle and force myself to make sure it comes out that way. So I've, I'm, I'm glad you, that you noticed that this time. Um, so thank you. Um, well, I um, I actually, I don't think I can take any more of this, so why don't we just close this interview with uh, how people can support you and buy it. Well, maybe you could start by supporting me. I mean, cutting me off right now? I mean, what the fuck, man? I mean, we had an agreement, right, boys? Yeah. Right, boys? Yeah. I mean, what the fuck is this kind of shit? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Alexander. You better watch your weird music, guys. Welcome, welcome.